This preview is brought to you by collegesportingnews.com. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, giving you a preview between the Sam Houston State Bearcats and the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks in the Battle of the Piney Woods. So let's look at Stephen F. Austin in this ballgame offensively. I look at the running back, Gus Johnson. One of the more outstanding running backs we've seen so far in the FCS level. This guy has done a great job all season long. I think the Lumberjacks can ride him to success. He had 200 yards last week. They're going to need that type of output this week versus the Bearcats. And defensively, I look at the DNs, Will Jefferson and also Darren Robinson. They're going to have to string out that running game. You want to get Sam Houston State running downhill instead of running horizontally where their athleticism can take over. Those defensive ends have to set the edge and string out the running game. Now you look at the Bearcats in this ball game. Brian Bell must avoid being a detriment to his team. You can't have those turnovers. You can't have those errant passes. He has to step up and take onus of the position like he did last year and play exceptionally well. We got to see more consistency out of him. And Trey Dillon, the wide receiver versus their outstanding corner, Trey uh, Vallier, that's a battle that Miller has to win. I mean, sorry, Dillon has to win. If he can win that battle, that goes a long way in getting Sam Houston ahead of the chains and getting the big play capability going downfield. Big matchup right here. The Battle of the Piney Woods, very good rivalry game here in the FCS level. I'm going with Stephen F. Austin. I can actually trust their offense more than I can trust Sam Houston. That's weird to say, but I think they're more along in offensive output as opposed to Sam Houston, who seems like they're struggling a little bit. I know they had a big game last week versus Texas Southern, but I think Sam Houston State loses this ball game, so I'm going with Stephen F. Austin.